gentlemen, the final score on this Dunster Bank Premiership game are 3 degree City 1. first game as, uh, as Ard's manager and a, and a victory. Just talk us through you, your thoughts on the game. I'm delighted. As I said, yeah, I wanted a positive start. I give them the jobs of doing training. And I thought every single one of them today, you know, played with passion, played with enthusiasm, played with energy. And look, I, I said it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard, but give yourselves a chance. And from the one, the whole of the 18, I thought every single one of them put in a shift. And what, so what, what do you say to the players when you're going in and you're sitting bottom of the table in the first game? You, you've, got to lift, you, you've got to get the player with a smile on your face. You know, look, I, I probably went through a proper coaching session Tuesday night to tell them what I want. Um, I like my training around structure and intensity and I've done it on Thursday night again, but I sensed a little bit of a buzz around the place. And the coaches had come to me even and said, look, we're good. And I said, well, I'm a believer in it can be great in training, you've got to take it in, in this Saturday. But it's getting the players to play with smiling in face. They're not bad players, they're just low in confidence, which is understandable, but it's just getting the best out of them. Um, and obviously I made a couple of changes today, positional-wise, what I believed. Um, and as I say, full credit to the players, they've taken it on board. And two goals a day for, for Mark Kelly, top goal scorer, albeit with, with five goals, got himself two today. As a striker yourself, what sort of advice did you give to Mark during the week? We've done a wee bit of shooting during the week, but you know, I look at them and say to the strikers, you don't need to smash the ball in the net. Pass the ball in the net. You know, you watch the best players. Everything's a pass. But it says you'll not score goals if you're not out of the box. He's a big boy, him and Merkel. We've got energy. And I says, get in between the sticks. I said, not ball wise, you get in between them sticks. And I thought he took his goals very, very well. Two fantastic headers. Um, but as I say, they only come because of the wide men and the other players doing their jobs. And down at the other end, uh, Johnny Taylor, Damon McNulty. You know what, I thought they were outstanding, the whole back four, uh, even the, the midfielders, I thought the two of them, Kim Nelson, um, Tom O'Winn there, but the back four I thought was superb. Look, I'm disappointed with the goal, but you know they took on board the way we should be working, um, and they showed a real you know, leadership together, and as I say, um, we'll enjoy it, but we won't, uh, we won't get carried away. And going on half time, 2-0, come out the second half and, and concede within, within 10 minutes or so. Usually teams that struggle with confidence will just fold and concede the second straight away. What, what changed? I, I said to them before the game, if you go down, I says, don't worry, but you've 90 minutes to put it right. Um, yes, and I knew Warren Point had to, had to come out. You know, 2 nils a, a risky scoreline, as you can see, because we had a chance here to make it 3 and Josh, Josh Kelly put it over the bar when he should have squared it. Um, and they get their goal, but I'm not one of them to sit around. Look, you just got to be relaxed. I made the change. I think a wee bit of pace would help us. Um, and with them we got our goal, as I say, after that maybe we could have had a couple more by the last five minutes where we started getting a little bit edgy, but as I say, you know, you can't say the game was done, but I knew the boys would get a little bit tired because as I say, I like my players being fit and I know they've, they've a long way to go and it's, it's, it's difficult because they've only two months left, but as I say, I can't knock their energy today. And it gives you a wee break now for, until, until your next game. What are you going to look to do in time, in time for the next four training sessions ahead of the next match? Um, it's just getting the boys going again. It gives me a chance to get around them, get about their, um, get my structure back into them as well, the way I want, and give them a bit of work. We've got a game next week against Carrick and a friendly, which I think we can't go two weeks without a game. So it gives us a chance to get, obviously, some of the, the players that never played today as well, get minutes. Um, but yeah, just just keep them going, keep playing with a smile on your face, and as I say, look forward to a fantastic game in two weeks. And I mentioned obviously the large supporters, uh, great turnout today, and the buzz obviously helped the players. You know what, I, I says on the press conference to get the fans, get everyone there on Saturday and give ourselves a chance. And you know, I thought they were outstanding today, a lot of them, and it's difficult coming to another town to support them, but you know, if we can have that to the end of the season, um, you know, we have a big chance of doing something because fans give that wee bit of extra buzz. And look, I can understand where fans come from. If you're not winning games, you're not going to go. But you know, the players put on a, a show today, but as I say to everyone, we've got to keep our feet well on the ground. And the player that uh, wasn't obviously involved today went, went to Australia for a couple of weeks. Johnny Fraser is back today. Obviously, is he still registered as an art player? I don't know. Is he going to look to maybe have a phone call with him over the next. Look, Johnny's a fantastic player. Um, I had him at Linfield to give the kid his debut at Linfield. If he's available, 100%, I'll be on the chairman's um, stand outside his house. <laughs> Um, making sure he can get this over the line, but I know I know he's got a bit of a niggle at the minute. He's injured, but if we can add a player like Johnny, uh, listen, uh, 
En ze zei het staan op de Sherman's, hij zal niet in weer gaan happen. Sure.